Hello, uh, my name is uh, Krzysztof Jamrosiak. Uh, I'm working for uh, Medical University of Warsaw in Poland uh, and uh, I'm representing Polish Myeloma Consortium. Uh, here on the IHA, uh, I will be presenting results of our uh, phase two clinical trial on uh, daratumumab for minimal, minimal residual disease recurrence. Minimal resi residual disease or measurable residual disease is the minimal extent of disease detected in the bone, bone marrow uh, below the uh, sensitivity of, of normal tests like uh, made uh, on the blood, like uh, electrophoresis of, or immunofixation. Uh, and it is known that the disease uh, returns to firstly at this level and then we, we can detect it in the blood by electrophoresis. So we tested uh, whether we can uh, delay clinical progression or significant biochemical uh, progression by uh, uh, giving a single agent daratumumab and it was uh, compared with uh, observation. Uh, there were 54 patients uh, included uh, to the trial and uh, 24 of them uh, uh, relapsed with uh, this minimal uh, residual disease uh, detectable without the signs of, of biochemical or clinical uh, progression. And uh, half of the patients uh, received daratumumab while the, the remainder were observed. And uh, we found that we can delay um, paraprotein or, or clinical uh, progression by, uh, a, we can uh, delay it uh, uh, significantly compared to the observation and the, the reduction of the risk was uh, 80%. And this treatment was uh, well uh, tolerated and did not uh, affect the patient's uh, quality of life. Probably in the routine practice, we will not use single agent teratumumab because the, the landscape of, of uh, treatment in myeloma uh, changed a lot during the time the trial, uh, the trial was conducted. But it, it is a proof of concept study for, for future larger clinical trials with, with uh, newer methods of, of monitoring of this minimal residual disease and novel treatments. Thank you.